Hi everyone! Welcome to the VRM24.com channel. Today, we're taking apart the Honor 90 Lite. First, we need to remove the SIM card tray. To do that, use a SIM ejector tool. Insert it into the hole and gently push the tray out. If it's stuck, you can use tweezers to help pull it out. Next, we need to heat the back cover to about 70 degrees Celsius. That's around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We're using a heating mat for this, but a heat gun or hair dryer will also work. After five to seven minutes of heating, we can move on to removing the back cover. To separate the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. Slide it into the gap between the back cover and the midframe, then gently work your way around the edges, cutting through the adhesive. Be extra careful around the cameras and side buttons. There are flex cables and lenses that could be damaged. Keep going around the edges, removing any leftover adhesive. Now we can gently lift and open the back cover. As you can see, there's nothing attached to it. Next, let's cover the camera lenses. We use a protective film for this. It's always a good idea to cover them to avoid dust or debris getting inside. Now we move on to removing the screws. Use a 1.5 millimeter Phillips screwdriver. That's a Phillips hash triple O. If the screws are stuck, you can use a magnetizer or tweezers to get them out. In newer Honor models, the screws aren't very magnetic, so tweezers really help. After that, we'll remove the top cover. Use a plastic pry tool, non-metallic, and gently lift from the right spot to release the clips. Take your time to find the exact point that makes it easy to remove. This top cover contains contact pads. Now we disconnect the battery. Use a metal tool and carefully lift the connector. Then we move on to the screws at the bottom of the phone. Again, use the same 1.5 millimeter Phillips screwdriver. It's a good idea to keep these screws separate from the others. Since they're also not very magnetic, use tweezers to pull them out carefully. Now let's remove the bottom cover. Same idea. Find the right spot, gently pry it up, and lift it out. This part holds the loudspeaker. Next, we disconnect the connectors on the subboard. Carefully unplug the interconnect flex cable and two coaxial cable connectors. Then, free the cables from the board. There's one screw holding the subboard in place. Remove it with the same screwdriver. Now gently lift out the subboard. This board contains the charging port, microphone, and other components. Let's do a quick mic port test. The microphone hole is L-shaped and part of the display frame. It lines up with the mic opening on the subboard. Since the actual mic is on the reverse side of the board, you can't damage it by poking something into the hole from the outside. The vibration motor stays in the display frame. Now let's move on to the main board. 
First, we'll disconnect the cameras. Unplug the front-facing camera, flip it over, and cover the lens with protective film. Then, unscrew one screw holding the main rear camera, unclip the camera mount, and set that aside too. Now we can remove all the rear cameras. Start with the large main camera, then the two smaller ones. If the protective film has peeled off, apply a new one and store the cameras safely. With the cameras removed, we can start unplugging the rest of the connectors. Disconnect the interconnect flex, display cable, side button cable, and the two coaxial cables. Now we're ready to remove the motherboard. Gently pry it up from the correct spot and lift it out. There's another mic hole at the top of the display frame, same L-shaped design. The mic is on the back of the motherboard, so again, you won't damage it by sticking anything into the hole. Finally, let's disconnect the battery. As usual with Honor devices, there are brown pull tabs. Be sure to read the label first. You need to know which tabs to lift and which one to pull. Carefully, peel back the side tabs so they don't get in the way. Then, according to the instruction, gently pull the center tab upward to remove the battery. And that's it. The battery is out and the teardown is complete. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video or on our website or in our Telegram channel.